So you know that huge menu of options you can get to by pressing a key like delete or F2 immediately after powering up your system? It's called the BIOS, and we went into detail about what it actually is in this episode, but the gist of it is that it's the firmware that controls basic low-level essential functions of your computer. So that's cool, um, but how do you use it? Ah, good question. Today we're going to have a look at some of the more common settings that both novices and veterans should be keeping their eyes on to keep their systems running optimally. We'll start with what's probably the first thing you should look at if your computer isn't turning on correctly, the boot priority menu, which is sometimes simply labeled as boot order. You see, when you boot up your computer, it will look for a drive with a bootloader, typically paired with an operating system on it. Typically, this will mean a hard drive or SSD with Windows on it, or maybe Linux if you're hardcore. But there are situations where you might want to boot from a USB drive or even an optical disk to run system repairs or some special application. Adjusting your boot priority so that the media you want to load is listed first will allow you to boot from the location that you want. Speaking of booting, you might also see an option called Secure Boot. This is a newer feature designed to keep rootkits, which you can learn more about up here, from infecting your bootloader, which can cause you problems that your anti-malware software won't ever find. You should usually keep this turned on, but if you need to load some operating system like Linux, turning it off might solve your problems if you're having them, as Secure Boot can also keep non-genuine Microsoft OSs from working. And sticking with the booting up theme for just a little bit longer, enabling a setting called fast boot or quick boot will cut down on startup times by skipping error checking, but it may keep you from booting up properly if there is a problem. Moving on, if your computer has a feature that seems to just not work at all, there's a chance it's simply disabled in the BIOS. Options like SATA hot swapping for hard drives and SSDs, onboard audio, ethernet, USB ports, specific PCI express slots, and even the RGB bling built into your motherboard can all potentially be turned on or off with a setting in the BIOS. Usually it's a good idea just to leave everything on, but turning these things off can be useful to prevent the system from utilizing these built-in features if you have, let's say, a separate sound or network card and you don't want extra options cluttering up your audio settings menu, which is very valid. If you're rocking a slightly more advanced setup though, here are a few extra things to look out for. Make sure you find the toggle under storage options that lets you select RAID if you want to use multiple drives as a single unit, and an easy step to forget if you set it up previously and you're recovering from a failed overclock or something like that, and you can't figure out why the heck it isn't working. I've been there. And if performance is what you're chasing, most modern BIOSes allow you to select an XMP profile from the menu. This will quickly and easily get your high performance RAM modules running at their advertised speed and timings. If you're overclocking, look for options like EIST, speed step, or C states. Disabling these optimizations may help if you're having a hard time hitting the clock speed you want. Though remember that not allowing your CPU to throttle can result in increased heat output and power consumption. Of course, if you want to learn more about changing these exact settings that will overclock your CPU, check out this episode. Finally, let's talk about security. You've probably been using a Windows password, but the BIOS will allow you to set another password for an added layer of security, as it will ask for the separate password every time you try to enter the BIOS or boot from any operating system. Definitely useful, but remember that except in special cases, these passwords are usually cleared by removing the button cell battery from the board, and they don't keep an intruder from just opening up your computer and walking off with your hard drive. So are there other things that you've seen in your BIOS that you feel a little clueless about? Let us know in the comments and perhaps we'll cover them in a future episode. But for now, go forth and tweak to your heart's content. Just try not to break anything. Do you find yourself often trying to control two computers at once? Well, Synergy is the solution for you. Synergy is a software tool that solves the problem of having two or more keyboards and mice hooked into two or more computers. You see, Synergy allows you to share just one mouse and keyboard across multiple computers and multiple screens. No more messing around with different mice and keyboards and getting them confused. 
You can get either a basic or pro option with a one-time payment for lifetime access to the latter. Features include clipboard sharing and drag and drop between computers, custom hotkeys, and more. Synergy is offering a 25% discount to TechWiki viewers. Just click on the link in the video description below to check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. Get subscribed. Hit the little bell to see all of our content. Check out Sound of Super Fun. They have super cool stuff there. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.